Welcome back, gang. So far, we've sat down with seven of our 10 wrestling state champions from Nebraska in February, and we're joined by one great Gator for the newest Sports Zone Champions chat was Napoger Jr. and Class D state champion Braxton Seabrandt, alongside head coach Craig Dennis. Guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Thank you, having us. So, Braxton, I want to take you back to that Saturday in Omaha. You starting out fast mm -hmm. with an early takedown and then a pair of reversals in the second period, and that appeared to be more than enough cushion for you towards gold. How did you get yourself in that mindset to really get on such good footing in the biggest match of the year? Well, definitely just wrestled the way I've wrestled all year and just prepared myself for it, mentally prepared, just thought what I was going to do, go through. How to really just get takedown, get enough cushion, just ride it out long, just try to stay safe and see where it goes. Coach Braxton becoming the second Gator in four seasons to win an individual title, the last one coming in 2020. Um, talk about you know his state runner-up finish last year and now a completely different story this time around. What was the flip that was kind of switched from the sophomore to junior year that allowed him to get that one big final push? Uh, I think it left a bad taste in our mouth, you know, especially his mouth um, last year after that state finals match. And I think it was a, um, a little bit of fuel for the fire moving into this year. He did some off-season wrestling last, uh, last spring, um, wrestled at USA State, placed third there, I think. Yeah. Um, won the Midwest Classic, uh, had to wrestle a couple of well, the returning state, no, it was that year's state champ, the Fox kid from Axtell. So he prepared himself. I mean, he, he deserves every every minute, every second of everything that he's been recognized for. He's a hard worker. It's a testament to the things that we were trying to do up there at Wisner in our program, so. Braxton, I can imagine that the first state title always feels the sweetest, right? And I'm sure the one this year was all the more gratifying after you took down the guy this year that beat you in the finals last year, right? Mm -hmm. How redeeming was it for you to uh, accomplish that feat? And did it bring you any relief heading into that championship day knowing you kind of took him down already? Yeah, it definitely felt pretty good, I'd say. Like, that was one of the matches I really worried about. And when I got that takedown, and it just kind of switched for me. Like, I just had to do this, had to make it that far, and really just pushed me to try to win it this year. Coach, the Gators have had some great wrestlers over the years. And for Braxton to be in the finals back-to-back -back years, all before his senior season, it's pretty crazy for me to wrap my head around. How special has he been to this program and what inspiration is he continuing to leave for future Gators? I tell you what, he, uh, he's kind of the face of our program right now. Um, everything that we try to instill into the kids, he, he puts out on the wrestling mat, whether it's in the practice room or, or on a Saturday or on a Thursday during a duel. Um, you know, his, his character, his work ethic, um, his ability to be coachable uh, just feeds off the other kids. You know, um, He models good leadership um, and we're, we're looking forward to having him continue to be that great leader next year as a senior and leading us to hopefully another pretty great season. All's well with the Wisner Pilger Gators right now, that's for sure. Well, Coach Braxton, thank you so much for taking the time to join me for the newest Sports Zone Champions chat. And Braxton, once again, congratulations on your 126 state champion title. And we'll be pulling for you to defend your crown next year. Hopefully see you again back in Omaha. Thank you.